In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the on-screen keyboards in Mobicon Next. So first I'm going to go to IO Data Server. I'm going to come to Tag List and I'm going to add two tags in. I'm going to add one tag, which is going to be an integer. And I'm going to add another tag, which is going to be a string. So now on screen, I'm going to put two display boxes. It doesn't have to be a display box. This could also be a button or anything we can apply in a command to. But just to make it easy, I'm going to use a display box. So I'm going to come over to my toolbox here, go down and find displays. I'm going to grab a display box. I'm going to copy and paste it to screen using Control C, Control V. And now we have two boxes. I'm going to make this one a little bigger because I'm going to apply the string to it. And I'm going to left justify the text. So to tag it up, many methods. I'm going to use the drag and drop to the integer. And the tag assign through our three little dots in our properties menu. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a command to our integer. And the command is a tag value because we're actually setting a value. So tag value, we tell it which tag we want to change, our integer. And we have our command type. Now the command type we're going to use in this one is we want a numerical pad. We're going to do the same with this one. We'll select it. We're going to apply a command. So this time I'm going to select the string tag. I'm going to come down to command type again. And this time I'm going to select the alphanumeric pad. Go ahead, let's save it. And let's start the project and see what happens. So now the project started. If I click onto this box here, it brings up the numerical pad. Any values are put in, automatically change. And it's only numeric. If I click on this one, it brings up the alphanumeric pad with the full keyboard. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.